I'm not a bad guy. I just don't like theme parks. The cool thing about Calico Ghost Town is it's not a theme park. It's a real ghost town. Before the train leaves the station, let's recap. At the end of my last video, we'd given up on camping in Death Valley and were headed home to San Diego. While we were driving south through the desert, my wife Monica was scouring the internet for something to do to break up the trip. That's how we happened upon Calico Ghost Town. I was still a bit salty about our Death Valley fiasco, and I have to admit, I was less than enthusiastic about stopping at some random roadside attraction. <laughs> Located off Highway 15, just a few miles northeast of Barstow, Calico is a former silver mining town that was founded in 1881. From the years of 1881 to 1907, Calico produced over $20 million in silver ore. When silver lost its value in the mid-1890s, the town began to fade. While some residents held out for a time, as the 20th century dawned, Calico became a ghost town. In the 1950s, Walter Knott, founder of Knott's Berry Farm, purchased the town and transported some of its buildings and mining equipment to his theme park. Later, he began restoring Calico to its original condition, referencing old photographs. As we go around this first curve, notice the miners' cabins built along the canyon walls. As crude as they appear, they were ideal for protecting us from the hot summers and cold winters here at Calico. <laughs> After our train ride, we explored Maggie Mine, the only one in Calico that's safe and allows visitors inside. Historic in Southern California. Before your journey into the mine, we'll give your eyes a chance to get accustomed to the dark. Oh. Is there any medicine? No. I hate medicine. Really, it looks like romance. Oh, there we go. This is a system of signals that communicates when the level level since some of the chutes were almost 100 feet long. The man above would only send ore down when he heard the bell ring signal. Then he would let him know it was safe. Oh, opening. It's just a big hole. Is there any mannequins in there? Uh, yep, two mannequins. <laughs> I said the mine was safe, but that's only true if you don't have a deep distrust of mannequins, which Kai does. Back above ground, we explored yeah, some of the town's historic about. buildings and its more kitschy attractions.
that is so <laughs> weird. That is that? such a weird feeling. Go ahead and go on up. No. <laughs> you look even weirder. Like, it totally looks like you're walking downhill. Knees together. Knees together. Put your hands on your knees. Now, get up. No, nope, oh. hands on knees. Hands on knees. Hands on knees. <laughs> Keep your hands on your knees. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty. Oh, now God. you have to get up now. Oh, knees, no. together. Knees, knees together. Knees together. Knees together. Oh, knees together. Yes. Oh, I'm definitely getting up. Knees together. <laughs> 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 it's like yeah, she's she's taunting me. It's oh, like she's taunting yeah. me. Calico Ghost Town had a bit of everything. History, adventure, even hints of a theme park. Not bad for a roadside attraction. 